Here's a great tip that I got from Ron Palmer of ID8 Incorporated. When I was placing windows or doors, what I used to do is place the component and then adjust the position of the extension line by clicking on the control. And then when I had the opportunity to change the value, I'd click on it and enter the value. So if you look at it, this is like five clicks. One to place it. Two, I'm adjusting one of the extension lines. Three, four, until they're in the right position. And five, to pick on the value and change it. Five clicks for every time I place a, a window or a door. What Ron showed me was that you can uh, make this a much more efficient process. So if I delete the windows, what I'm going to do is go to the Manage tab. I'm going to go to the Additional Settings and look at the values, the defaults for temporary dimensions. The temporary dimensions by default for walls, they snap to the center lines of the wall but you can click on the radio button and change that so they'll snap to the faces of a wall. So in other words, I would expect to see tempered dimensions on the inside or outside of the face. For the doors and window openings, I can also click on openings so that it would actually be the edge of a door or the edge of a window that I'm placing. Look at the difference that this makes when I place my window. One click to select the wall that I'm placing it on, just a drag to change the dimension, and a second click to place the window. If I've got spacing, one click to place the window, and I could see the temporary dimension. So it's really down to like three clicks.